Hi everyone, this is Venkatesh from Naresha Technologies. In this video, I want to give a clarity on forward method and include method, which we are using popularly in servlets programming to establish the communication between servlet programs. In the last video, I given a clarity in showing the execution flow of one servlet program with life cycle. I will recollect that in one two minutes. Whenever we want to speak about your servlet program life cycle, in last video I used HTTP local host followed by the port number of Tomcat server followed by deployment directory. When the control goes to web.xml, the control goes to web.xml from welcome file list has been detected. From that welcome file list we have been identified your HTML file that has been displayed from there the control goes to web.xml by taking the URL by using form tag having your action and method is equal to post. So there the control goes and whenever if you use form tag with method is equal to post we are going to activate your post request. Whenever you want to handle this post request we are declaring do post method within your servlet program. The servlet program has been loaded and instantiated stage 1. Whenever the instantiation process is going on loading and instantiation means creating object. So one config object is created. In the coming videos I will be speaking about config and context, servlet config and servlet context. So whenever we see into that object and we can identify three methods, init method, service method and destroy method. These three methods we are calling it as life cycle method. The process of executing init method we are calling it as initialization. The process of executing service method we are calling it as request handling but here in the form tag we used method is equal to post the request generated is nothing but post request. So in the place of service method we used do post method to handle the request. Once the do post method has been executed completed we are calling it as request processing has been completed. The last stage of your program is nothing but destroying this is the information I given to you. In that process do post method has been passed with two parameters request and response coming from HTTP servlet request HTTP servlet response. There whatever the form data available the form data will come and available within the request object. From there we are using get parameter method and loading on to the current running program and we are using in the logic. And today's uh, video main intention is nothing but I want to introduce forward method and include method. In that process I am using a forward method. This forward method is available from request dispatcher available from request dispatcher. So whenever if I use this forward method here diagrammatically I will show it out. Imagine this is web browser where the end user is trying to communicate with our application. I had one servlet program here, one servlet program one here. So the request has been taken here. Whenever I taken a request here now this servlet program forward means I had one more servlet program here imagine from here to here I am forward. So this one I am using forward. So here this servlet program will take the request and forwards this to the next resource. The resource can be of next resource can be of one servlet program or JSP program or HTML file anything it can be nothing but one more resource we are going for one more resource. So the servlet program imagine in this uh, example what I am going to show here the servlet program 1 accepted the request forwarded to servlet program 2 whatever the response it is giving now whatever the response the response is coming back to this web browser. So what is the meaning of this is a servlet program can take the request and give the response to the end user. But whenever if I use forward method one servlet program will take the request can forward to the second servlet program the response will come from the second servlet program this kind of communication. So here I used one program I am going to show in this program I used one login servlet here one servlet I used. I will check the login process here username and password. If it is successful username password is successful then I am going to forward the request to the next servlet. 
whenever I forward the control to the next servlet now, this servlet will display the details. Here I am using display servlet. I am using one more uh, servlet program, display servlet. This display servlet is uh, displaying the details what we want according to the logic. So, my intention to introduce here one forward method. Forward method is establishing communication between this servlet program and this servlet program. This servlet program will be executed when the servlet program login is successful and if the servlet program passes the control to the next servlet by using forward. This forward I am going to activate by using the request to dispatcher is the theory here. So, this is the diagrammatic small representation of your forward method. I will show practically. So, whenever I want to use a include method, whenever we use include method, the include method is nothing but we are going to include the response of second resource into current running programs response. Diagrammatically, I will speak it out. This is web browser once again, end user. Here one servlet program, here one servlet program 1. So, I am passing the request here. I am passing the request here. Suppose imagine I had one servlet program 2. Now, this servlet program has to give the response actually, but here the servlet program has been taken this request can respond it, but here it passes one control we are calling it as include. The response is added to this, the response of this servlet program is added to the response of current running servlet program and this response will come to this web browser. Diagrammatically try to understand it. Whenever if I use include, normal English meaning, include means get that content and make it available in the current running program that is called include. Now, I am running servlet program 1, I am passing one control in the form of include, the meaning is the resource, I am for diagrammatically I am drawing it as servlet program 2, the response is included within the response of current running program and the response is coming on to web browser. But in my program, in the place of servlet program, in the place of servlet program, I am using login.html. Here I am using it as login servlet, just I shown the diagram. Whenever the login servlet checking the username and password, if it fails, means login is invalid, then again the login.html page is displayed to the user, saying one message. Suppose login servlet has been successful with it username and password, then it is going to pass the request to the next servlet in the form of forward. Here include means get your response available here. What is the response? I am adding the content of login.html into current response and displaying it out. So, finally, I want to establish communication between two servlets. If I use forward method, servlet program 1 will take the request and forward to the second servlet program. The second servlet program will respond to the web browser where the end user is waiting. In your include process, servlet program 1 will take the request and include the response of second servlet program into the response of current running servlet program 1. That is the difference between your forward and include. Let me show this through program. Once and let me demonstrate it what has been happened. So, let me show the program on this forward and include. I took one file here. First I am showing web.xml. I am using web.xml here. So, in the web.xml I had two files here. One is servlet, one servlet mapping, one more servlet, servlet mapping. I had one welcome file list. In welcome file list I, I had login.html. So, the login.html I kept here. In the login.html I had username, I had password, 
and submit as in login. I am making the action on XYZ now. The method is post. So, I am I am generating one request that request is post request. To handle that post request, to handle that post request, we must declare do post method within your servlet to program. So, this is the information to these two files. So, here I use two servlet programs. This is a display servlet and one more is login servlet. In login servlet, I am connecting my database here, loading the driver class, establishing connection, running one query select star from login is a table already available which is having some username and password and I am going to execute it. If login is successful, I am forwarding the request to the URL DIS. I am forwarding the request to the URL DIS. This URL DIS is checked within the web.xml file. In web.xml file, we had DIS here. Whenever you find your DIS URL here, the display servlet program, display servlet name is mapped onto here. With that, your display servlet program is loaded, instantiated and initialized and ready to handle the request. So, this login servlet forwarded the request to the DIS URL. With that URL, display servlet has been activated. In this display servlet, I am putting one message here to prove that control has been transferred to the servlet program 2. In login servlet, if the login has been failed, after executing this query, if the username password is not available, so rs.next will become false. The return type of next method is boolean. If it is false, the control goes to else. Here message will come, invalid user login invalid user login and here I am including, I am using a method here forward method, here include method, include what now login.html. I am passing as parameter to request dispatcher indirectly get request dispatcher. Now whenever I pass login.html that has been included to the current response of this login servlet program. So what you observed here to call this forward method to call this include method, I am using the reference of your request dispatcher. That is the proof to say that request dispatcher is having forward method and include method. I am opening request dispatcher. In request dispatcher is available from java x dot servlet dot request dispatcher. Here we had two methods. One is forward method, one is include method. This forward method is accepting the servlet request and servlet response there, servlet response. Here include method is servlet request and servlet response, two methods are available. Whenever I want to access these methods, I must use the reference of request dispatcher. So whenever I want to use this and in my programming, I am using get request dispatcher, I am using one method available from request, available from request. Request means what now? HTTP servlet request. HTTP servlet request belongs to HTTP, HTTP servlet request which is internally extended from Java X dot servlet dot sorry Java X dot servlet dot servlet request internally extended. So, here we can find your get request method. Can you see your get request dispatcher? available from servlet request, already servlet request extended to HTTP servlet request. So, whatever the method available in the servlet request available to HTTP servlet request, whenever we use the reference of HTTP servlet request, you can access get request dispatcher is the theory here. So, these two methods I am using it. Let me execute this program. To execute this program, I had one table with login. Let me show that also. I had one table known as login. I kept one username and password here nit.vmzu672. So, whenever I entered my login username and password correctly, the control goes to second servlet using what now forward and a message will come from the servlet, second servlet program 
that is display servlet. Whenever I entered my username and password wrongly, invalid username and password, then the include method is activated including the login form again. So, let me run it out, turn on your Tomcat server. This is the username and password, I am entering wrongly now. I do not have any username like RRR, so login, invalid user login, again the login.html came, message came, again that login.html has been displayed. So, whenever I entered correctly nit.v and the password is mzu672, if I entered correctly, now welcome nit.v. So, the control came from where now, second program. So, second servlet to program, it has been cover, came from second servlet to program, display has been came. So, this is the small uh, program and small diagrammatic representation to understand forward and include method. These two methods are available from request to dispatcher. Whenever if I use forward method, servlet program 1 will pass the control to servlet program 2. Servlet program 2 will give the response to the web browser forward. Include servlet program 1 will include the response of servlet program 2 into the current running program response and give the response to the web browser or end user. This is a small demonstration on forward and include methods. Thank you. Watch me on more videos in Narasha Technologies. Thank you.